Wow. You look gorgeous. Can you just tell me how much time and effort it took you to choose your outfits before coming to the TED? Especially ladies. I know. We have the dullest urge to be dressed to kill, right? Right. <laughs> so for people who spent only 10 minutes, please, can you raise your hands? <laughs> Very nice. For other people who spent hours, or maybe days, just on thinking about it, maybe like me, please smile. <laughs> Thank you so much. But seriously, what about sometimes when you come to a fork in the road that calls you to make drastic or difficult decisions like getting married, moving to another country or city, career change, taking a loan from the bank to buy your dream house or car, or even beginning or ending a relationship? Or another adventure like climbing the Mount Everest. Just pondering those examples can bring thoughts of tension and confusion. Dear life warriors, you know, we find ourselves in a real bind to discern opportunity from risk. Most of people try to show a sign of maturity by considering the short and long-term benefits while making their life choices. I am one of them. Do you really believe me? If so, bear with me and listen to the following. In 2005, and precisely in the day before the baccalaureate exam, I decided to not be in a psychologist. My dream job, could you imagine? And that because I was extremely sure I would get the first grade with honors, and I was likely to be sensible and enroll into any scientific major with my peers, the genius students as they called us, rather than following my studies in the University of Literature. After getting my diploma in industrial chemistry, I got married with one of my schoolmates when it was never in my plans to do so as I had glossophobia. Gamophobia, sorry. <laughs> the fear of commitment. It seemed like along the road of my life, my passions and I walked together until reaching my endeavors. But then, they diverged. By missing the opportunity of learning English, my passion, in the British Council of my hometown, Casablanca. Do you see the noble coast? It seemed like only bumps in the road, and those bumps were made by me. Now, you can believe or not, how stupid I was when it came to evaluate the hard choices versus the mind choices. As such, I got two kids as a handful and it felt good at the time. But sincerely, my children are the result of a marriage I never expected I would be so lucky to have with a man on commitment to family exceeded my own. So to people who look upon my choice of becoming a younger mother as unfair to my freedom and youth, I would say gaining a family is never ordinary. And I would ask you and them a question. Do we really know about the other alternatives? Do we? I can ensure you one thing, there is no best alternative unless we couldn't survive if disappointed. So, it appears logical that you have to go with what you have when you don't have the real answers to round the new options. But bear in mind, 
some major life choices are also opportunities and can bring much reward and blessings, but only in the context of the timing of the choice. And if we thought through the what-if questions before taking the dive toward, we would wait the cause of the failure before it got too late. So, I had been floating between being reasonable and emotional, but never succeeded to strike an honest balance between being both. And it lasted this way, 10 years. Yes, you heard right. 10 years and not 10 days or 10 months. It seemed like only life illusions because my passions and my dreams had been stifled yet as, as good riddance in that time. But in 2019, in a beautiful Saturday, I decided to let free the suffocated voice of my heart. And I listened to my whispers coming from my heart. And without waiting any longer, I joined the American Language Center to learn English, my passion. And just weeks after, I was introduced to an international club of public speaking and leadership program. Since then, I end up with the feeling of resentment and I could delightfully enjoy the process of knowing what psychology is about by rallying around people and pushing them to build new versions of themselves and to find their voices and to grow as new people and to gain confidence. Contained within this unique path, I could delightfully also be the Vice President of Education and President of my club. And that was my story of how and how I dived toward the adventure of being kind of public speaker. Because public speaking is a drilled form of communication and it is essential as it helps us to form connections and motivate change. It was like a beautiful Saturday when I came across my passion. Now, I'm proudly sharing with you how much time and the effort it took me to be ready to make my choice. And believe me, there is no time to lose. You have to choose your own adventure to build a better you. Thank you.